Go. Okay. Um, uh, I'm Nikki Bartelt. I'm from the MnDOT Bridge Hydraulics Unit, and I'm just going to be talking a little bit today about proper installation of matrix riprap. As you can see here, we have an installation of, I believe, class five riprap, or four or five, and in order to do the matrix riprap installation, we need to, uh, to complete that, we need to place the grout within this riprap section. Um, what we're really trying to do, the, the point of matrix riprap, is really to glue individual stones together with the grout. And so we're not trying to fill up all of the voids, we're trying to connect these contact points between individual stones and let the grout kind of fall down into the void space and connect a lot of the rocks. The optimal uh, void space filling total within that layer is about 50% filled. You'll get about two thirds filled on top and the top portion and about a third filled on the bottom. Grout consistency is very important. It should be about the consistency of toothpaste approximately and we have a, a testing apparatus to handle that. You don't want it too runny so that the grout doesn't all pool down on the bottom and you don't want it so stiff that it all sits on top and doesn't penetrate at all. So it's important to make sure you have the a proper grout consistency. You're shooting for um, approximately a seven inch slump on a standard American slump test. Uh, but really to best gauge the grout consistency, you should use a European tapping table, which measures the spread both before and after movement of the grout. Uh, proper placement would be to, you typically would use a pump truck with a hose. Hose diameter should be between two and three inches. Two inches would be optimal. Typically it is done with the two to three man um, crew, two to three person crew, and then a pump operator with one person operating the hose, again, laying the hose down or setting the hose down at the contact point, letting some grout fall out, and then moving on to the next contact point. Next contact point, next contact point. You don't necessarily have to get every single rock, but you want every rock to be connected to some other part of the riprap. And you're going to be moving them along, either um, up and down the slope this way, or back and forth, whatever is easiest for placement for you, and moving along the riprap what we've seen installations will take uh, about a day per side per abutment but it does depend on the rip the bridge size and the abutment size That's it.